Hey everybody. So today we're gonna to talk about Venus um, turning retrograde. This hasn't happened yet. This will happen on December 19th. And then it will turn direct again on January 29th. I wanted to go and talk about it now though because <clears throat> we're in the shadow period of it. Um, the first, the, it, it really depends on who you, who you talk to. <laughs> but the shadow period can be like a week or two before a, before a planet turns retrograde and then a week or two after it turns direct. So I feel like this is a, this should come out now. <laughs> the video about this should come out now while we're in the shadow period. Um, cause we are in the, in the shadow of Venus retrograde right now. So <clears throat> Venus, Venus retrograde doesn't, Venus is the planet that retrogrades the least often. Um, so if you've got Venus retrograde in your own natal chart, this is the planet that, that goes retrograde the least. Um, so if you've got, if you have it in your chart, definitely, definitely, definitely take notice of it because it, it is the most rare or uncommon one to find retrograde in, in a natal chart. Um, so we'll talk for a second about Venus retrograde, re Venus retrograde in a natal chart, what that might mean, and then talk about it from a, from a transit lens. So when Venus is retrograde in the natal chart, it is really, really, really important that the person learn to love themselves. This is important um, because Venus retrograde, the, the values that the person has, um, the, the way that they love and need to be loved is usually different than what the rest of the world might value or what the rest of the world how the rest of the world, you know, what the rest of the world might need in terms of love and being loved. There's usually a, a difference because all retrograde planets, I know I've mentioned this before, all retrograde planets point towards Uranus in some way. <clears throat> they all do because <clears throat> they're all trying to individuate. All retrograde planets, there is an individuation that is happening. Uranus is, is more individuated. So they, they all do tend to point towards Uranus. So there is, a, that's where, that's why I mentioned a difference. There is a difference in the way the person values things, in the way the person loves things, in the way the person shows love and needs to be loved. Um, there, there is a difference there. Now, oftentimes that can feel uh, like the, the person might not feel like they're as understood in this way. Um, there can even be like a, a loneliness about it because they don't what they what they value and what they love is is not always in line with what everybody else does so that can put them or make them feel like they are in kind of a lonely position in society perhaps even in their own households with other people um, that they live with with you know it just it, it also depends on where Venus retrograde falls in the natal chart as to how you know wh what areas of life this will play out in wherever Venus if you've got Venus retrograde in your natal chart, that house, I might think might be where that loneliness might come out the most, where you might feel the most lonely in this way or the most different in this way, which could then cause the loneliness um, or the lonely kind of feeling. But it's it's very important for, for Venus retrograde people to know that there's nothing wrong with what they love and value. There's nothing wrong with, with it. It's just different. There's nothing wrong with it though. And a lot of times there's a self-love component that has to come in to this, which is why I make the comment, why I made the comment earlier that self-love is so important for Venus retrograde people. Um, Venus rules both Taurus and Libra. Venus direct, um, tends to, you know, people also think of like Venus in terms of relationships. Venus direct tends to, I mean, Venus rules over both Libra and Taurus, but Venus direct does tend to have more of an affinity for Libra, whereas Venus retrograde tends to have more of an affinity for Taurus. Um, because it's really a more, it should be, Venus, Venus retrograde should be more, focused on self, self love. There should be like a, a self love focus. Oftentimes there isn't. Oftentimes there's not enough of that, but there should be. Um, 
yeah. So if you have, if you have Venus retrograde in your natal chart, definitely, definitely learn to love yourself. I would certainly, if it were me, I would certainly be looking at some maybe crystal healing that has to do with Venus um, and Taurus. Um, and, or, and, and because Venus retrograde does tend to have more of an affinity for, ta for Taurus or whatever, whatever sign you could work with stones for Venus and whatever, and stones for whatever sign your Venus falls in. Um, definitely. But the self-love component is very, very important. Now, when you've got Venus turning retrograde via transit, collectively, there is a really what we should be doing <laughs> when, with Venus turning retrograde is we should be collectively looking into our own values individually, really making sure that they fit and that they're good and that they work. Will we actually do this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we should, we should take the Venus retrograde period to do just that, um, on an individual level. Now, depending on where, where Venus retrograde is falling in your natal chart via transits, we'll kind of uh, let you know how it's going to impact, impact you. For some people, this transit may not matter that much to them. You know, they may not feel it that much. Um, if Venus is making an, if transit Venus is making an aspect with, with a natal planet, then you're probably gonna feel it more, especially if it's making multiple aspects. You're probably gonna feel it more. And you might feel more pulled in this way to to kind of uh, make sure that your that your values are are what they should be. Um, this is going on in Capricorn. Capricorn. When I think of Venus and Capricorn, I think of quality. <laughs> I think of values that have that are quality values that are love quality love too. Um, like, this isn't about quantity here. This is about quality. The quality, like, there needs to be a quality aspect to, to what you value and what you love. And figuring out what these actually are. But they need to be something of quality, of substance. Um, for sure. That's kind of where my mind goes first. That we might all collectively come under this this feeling but some people are going to run with it more than others because Venus retrograde is going to impact everybody a little differently depending on what it's doing in your chart um let me see if I, I took some notes I want to make sure I didn't miss anything Venus and Venus and Capricorn also like there should also be not only quality, not only quant quality over quantity for sure, but I mean, Capricorn is like, is mastery. So values right now, they need to be something that you, that you feel like you can master, that you, that you have mastery over which I think also plays into the quality thing. I think the more quality your values are, I think the more qual quality the love that you give and that you receive is, I think the more mastery you, f you would feel like you have over them. So I, I would definitely definitely focus on those things. Um, Capricorn is also very responsible. So I think of like responsible values. These really should be personal though, because again, while it is a, co a collective thing, Venus retrograde is very personal. So I, I think we have a responsibility to personally go inward and look at, at, at what our values and, and things are right now as individuals. And then once Venus turns direct, we can kind of come back together, if you will, and, and see what fits and, and what doesn't. But I think right now the process should be the, it should be more of an internal one. Um, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. Um, this is kind of, I think I've mentioned this before in another video. Um, because we are talking about Venus, they do, they do recommend, 
And this really depends on what all is going on in your chart. This may not be the case for you. I know you'll see things like um, <clears throat> maybe not having like cosmetic surgery right now or doing any hair changes <laughs> or, you know, appearance changes because Venus is also aesthetics and beauty. Um, I don't know. That really depends on what's going on in your chart. I can't always say that's the case. Um, sometimes I, I would advise a client maybe don't do that physical change to yourself right now. And then in sometimes some cases when Venus is retrograde, it doesn't really seem like it would matter to the person. It just kind of depends on the whole chart, but that is something to keep in mind. If you're thinking about making any, any big ass physical changes to yourself, like aesthetic beauty changes, uh, look at your chart and see if Venus is transit. Venus is gonna be fucking with anything. If it is maybe wait. Um, another thing is like relationship stuff. Sometimes you'll like with Mercury retrograde periods, you'll see with Venus retrograde periods, people come in creeping back from the dead and shit. <laughs> um, sometimes you will. Again, that would depend on the on the person's chart. That may not always be the case for the for everybody, but it but it can. It can happen. So if that happens to you, um, I would really go inward and think about what's best for you is this quality or is this a quant you know is this a quality thing is this a quality person i want in my life because venus is in capricorn <laughs> um but that might not be the case for everybody but it is something i wanted to bring up um anyway just some ideas but everything will be fine we will all live we will all make it through <laughs> just love yourself love yourself um if you want to uh, follow us on Instagram, you can find us at Let's Fuck With Astrology. I am at Saturn Season Astrology on Instagram. Natalie is at Paternal Astrology on Instagram. If you want to like or subscribe or whatever the fuck people do with videos on YouTube, you can um, find us by searching for Let's Fuck With Astrology in the YouTube search bar. If you're watching it on YouTube right now, you can like and subscribe if you have not already. <laughs> if you do the Reddit thing, come join us on the subreddit Let's Fuck With Astrology. And if you're interested in the star cards, go to letsfuckwithastrology.com slash star dash cards. Okay, y'all. I'll see y'all later.